a much anticipated hands-on look with Hyper's new USB-C hub for the 2018 iPad Pro. Check it out. If you like to connect external devices to your 2018 iPad Pro, then you're no doubt familiar with Apple's dongles, and there are quite a few of them, as you can see here. There's an SD card dongle, there's a USB dongle, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack dongle. So what Hyper has done is they've taken all of this I.O. and combined it into a single device like this. This is the Hyper USB-C hub for the 2018 iPad Pro. You can see all the I.O. USB-C with power delivery. You have SD and micro SD. You have USB, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and HDMI. So there's a lot of I.O. crammed into this little device. But what's really nice is this removable soft grip. This allows for a secure connection to your iPad Pro. You're not going to have metal on metal. Uh, so you have that nice secure connection and it's not going to scratch your iPad Pro at all. That said, the grip is removable just in case you want to connect to your iPad Pro while using a third-party case of some sort. Hyperdrive's anodized aluminum USB-C hub comes in two colors. You have silver and of course you have space gray which I have attached to my 2018 iPad Pro right here. And the colors match these devices perfectly. And for me, that's really one of the attractive features of this hub is that it doesn't look like a toy like those dongles do. This hub looks like it means business. There's not this little floppy cable <laughs> hanging off the end of your iPad Pro as you can see right here. And not only do you have to keep up with all these different dongles, but it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look professional. It doesn't match the aesthetic of the iPad Pro itself, whereas the Hyper USB-C hub actually does, which is kind of ironic given that it's not made by Apple, but it's made by Hyper. Now this isn't an in-depth review, this is just a brief preview of what to expect, but from what I've seen thus far, I don't think I'm going to have many complaints to be honest with you. I'm using an 11 inch iPad Pro here and I did notice that the hyperdrive covers up part of the speaker grills, however I tested the sound and I wasn't able to discern any noticeable difference when the hyperdrive was connected or disconnected. There's also that blue LED indicator when it's connected and you guys know I'm not a big fan of LED indicators but obviously I'm really nitpicking here. Let's go ahead and plug in a bunch of different I.O. and there we go. Oh let's not forget HDMI, let's get that in there as well. So this is what it looks like with all that I.O. connected. Yeah, that is a whole bunch of stuff connected with just a single hub. And here I'm running iMovie with my external display, have my SD card and headphones connected, and I'm good to go. So like Hyper has done in the past, they launched a Kickstarter campaign. You can pick this up for 50 bucks if you're an early backer. And you can find that link down below in the description. We'll of course be back with a lot more details on the Hyperdrive, including a full review. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.